All right, so good evening, good evening, everyone. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, Roberto. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Very good, and you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good night, teacher. Only. Good night, teacher. Good night, Luis. Hello. Hello, sir. All right, so I can see in the chat that uh, some of you already started uh, to send the, uh, the conversation that you were supposed to practice in individually or in person. So that's great. All right, so keep it up. Remember that uh, this is just practice, so it's not mandatory. So in other words, it's not an obligation for you to do this. But I... Okay. So but I think since you guys are, you know, taking the time to study English, you know, practicing always, you know, it's always useful. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So I already have in the chat uh, the audios from Hilda, Javier, eh, Franco, Brenda, eh, Angel. So he told me that he, he did it in purse, which is great. And then I have a uh, Luis. Mao is says in here, and then Eunice. That or, or, or I also have Jacqueline. She just sent uh, her audio. Remember that you have until tomorrow. If you want to submit the audio to me, uh, you have until tomorrow. So no problem. So we're good, everyone. Yes, Ashamada. Do you get the mind? Once again, the the Portuguese guide in there. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, coffee, you know, you know okay, to make okay. it, to make it, you know, through the night. <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, my plan for today is to at least introduce you, you know, to the past tense. Okay. So, okay. for that, you know, and for that, we're going to take a, a quick uh, look to the uh, platform. And let me ask, okay, so I need to ask something. Uh, do you already have access to the platform, you know, to the intermediate level in, in Inglés Corporativo? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Right. So you do. All right. So I'm glad you, you have access to this. Have you checked it out? I mean, have you started working in the exercises over there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask, let's see, Angel, yeah. for example, over here, sir. So look at my screen. All right. So. Okay. It says intermediate module one intermediate, you know, English level. It says in there. So we have section one. Yeah. Do you remember, Angel, the uh, section you are currently uh, working on? I try to remember. Uh, to uh, about what? This, uh, no, this, this week. Okay. So, but, but my question to you, uh, Angel, is. Uh, are you on, uh, on section one or section two or did you finish section one or you are you are you are still working? No, I don't. I don't. I don't begin nothing. Okay, you have not done anything yet. Okay. Yeah. But that's okay. Remember that uh, you have this week. Maybe you can start working uh, today and then over the weekend, and continue working and you know next week on section two, and then okay. by next by next Thursday, you know next Thursday, which is. Uh, October 22nd, yeah. you guys, you guys need to finish section one, two, and three. Okay. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so today we're going to start with this. All right, but that's going to be the second point in the agenda for you, gentlemen and ladies. <laughs> All right, so the Portuguese guide again. Okay, well, <laughs> no, we'll okay. I don't do volume. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to show you a, you know, the PowerPoint presentation that I pre prepared for you today, and. Uh, since I told you yesterday, okay, so I told you yesterday, every single class, we're going to start with the word of the day. 
So today we're going to have a competition, you know, a challenge. Two different words that, you know, most people get confused, you know, about it. Okay? Okay. Okay. So you're going to tell me if you have ever seen this, you know, these two words before. Okay. So just, just one sec for me here. All right, I, here we go. So I promise I'm gonna learn your, your names uh, very quickly. So let's see, Alex, uh, yes. are you able to see the screen and share it with you, like correctly? Yeah. All right, nice. Yes, so currently versus actually, all right? So, uh, Alex, do you happen to know the difference between currently and actually, or how do you use them in a sentence, by the way? Yeah, actually, I don't, uh, I don't use too much the, the currently one. Okay. Yeah. What about but, currently? Can you give me an example, please? Um, Any I idea? You, I mean, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you think. Don't worry about it. We're gonna place, you know, put it on hold. Lo ponemos en We're gonna, you know, put put you on hold. Okay. And uh, let me ask uh, somebody else in here. All right, I'm just gonna choose, you know, one of you randomly in here. So, Veronica, help us on this one, please. Uh, so, currently versus actually. Some people say currently or currently. So, uh, both pronunciations are okay. And then we have actually, all right? So to start with, let's, let's use our mother tongue, Spanish, all right? Just for a second. Let's see, currently, can somebody tell me, or maybe Veronica, would you please tell me, you know, the meaning of currently in Spanish? Or let's say the translation of currently in Spanish. Currently means uh, comúnmente en español, ¿verdad? Actualmente. Uh -huh. Ok. O por la general, eh, se puede decir también, ¿verdad? Mm, ok. Uh, right now, I'm not going to say yes or not, ¿ok? <laughs> ok, sí. Yeah, I just, I, I just, just want to see how much you know about this, ¿all right? What about actually? So, what about actually? So... I mean, you can use uh, uh, your cell phones to find out, all right? So you just can do some research and then you tell me. So it's okay if you have no clue on this one, if you're clueless on this one, okay? So that's okay. 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 So why don't you take, let's say, one or two minutes, and then I'm going to send you to some break rooms, and then you tell me, you discuss it with your classmates, you know, currently versus actually. I'm going to give you, let's say, two more minutes to discuss that in, in the break rooms. And then you're going to come back and we're going to discuss. All right? Okay. Perfect. Yes. So let me just one second. So you're 16 participants. So I'm going to uh, split you in pairs. So that means that it, it's going to be eight pairs. So everyone ready? Uh, accept the invitation in here, please. Okay. Okay. If you don't accept the invitation, you know, your classmate that has been assigned to you will be alone, you know, forever alone. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do that, please. All right. So what you're going to do is, you know, try to guess the meaning of currently versus actually. And trust me, those two words are very frequently used. They're very common words. Okay. Yep. So go ahead, please. Join the break rooms, please. Okay. Thank okay. You. Thank you.
All right, so Brenda, uh, uh, accept the invitation, please. Uh, also, Veronica, could you please just uh, join uh, the breaker room? You know, Edgar is waiting for you. Same for you, Jacqueline, uh, if your connection is, is uh, good, is it stable, so could you accept the invitation, please? And then we have, um, all right, there we go. For example, uh, uh, currently, sorry. <laughs> hello, hello. Currently. Hello. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm not over here, all right? Yes. <laughs> uh, currently is, for example, now. For example, currently, uh, we have, we, we are in the English class, for example. Uh, we are not currently in the English class? Yes. Oh, currently we are in the English class. Currently we are in the English class mm -hmm. because it's now. But uh, actually, the, tra the translator is. Uh, actually, a student. Realmente. Mm -hmm. Realmente. I think that is the, like a, a true, something true, mm -hmm. but no, I don't know what is the, the, the difference. But currently, I, I know that is the example that, that I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, actually, you're right. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you're right, Roberto. Yeah, that's the main difference. But today I'm going to also share with you, you know, I'm going to share with you synonyms, you know, for currently and also for actually. So at the time you use currently in a sentence and also actually, you're, you're also going to think, okay, I can also say, you know, let's say nowadays, you know, instead of saying currently. And I can mm -hmm. also say, instead of saying actually, I can say in fact, or in reality, all right? Uh, okay. or, or, or as a matter of fact. All right, so those are the phrases I'm gonna share with you. So you, you can increase your vocabulary because that's the idea. First, mm -hmm. Roberto, and, and also let's see who's your friend in here. Yes, Ilda, right? Yes. Uh, so first we start to translate words, but that's the first step. Mm -hmm. But we gotta move on, right? You know, we gotta go to a higher level. And in these cases, you know, to get more words to compare. For example, if I say, uh, actually, I can also say, in fact, or as a matter of fact. If I say uh, nowadays, you know, a synonym would be currently. So instead of, instead of knowing two words now, now you know four. And that's my intention, okay? To increase the okay. vocabulary, all right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So let me go to another, uh, room over here okay <laughs> we have to hi hi yeah i'm sorry so robert thank you for that robert <laughs> uh, so could you tell me a sentence using currently, please? Okay. I understand that currently is in the moment. So I, I can say I'm currently at home. And actually it could be 
I'm actually going on. All right, all right. The first one you got it. You almost got the first one currently, but there's there's a tiny, you know, there's there's a, a little difference when you say currently. Currently means, I would say, in a, uh, something that is happening, but not happening right now in this moment. Right? It, it can be something that you're doing. For example, you're studying English right now because it is part of your plan. You're currently studying English, you know, this month and this week at this hour. Okay. Right now, we're speaking. Okay, we're practicing. So right now and currently are similar, but not the same. Okay? So, but let me tell you too, Karen. If you want to use currently with another similar word, like a synonym, that would be nowadays. In Spanish, that would be actualmente. So that means, you know, in a, I would say in a long period of time. This month, it's like temporary. Something that you're doing temporarily, all right? But actually, it's a whole different story uh, in which you still don't know. But that's, you know, that's the objective of this class, you know? So, Karen, uh, so what, what does actually mean? Or do you have any idea about actually? Do you really? Really? Uh, really, okay. What would be a translation for actually? Realidad. Realidad. Okay. Yes. Yes. You may say that. All right. Yeah. You have you have an idea on that one. Okay. But so Roberto, uh, my point is, yes. Uh, currently means like something that you're doing, you know, at a specific period of time. But it doesn't mean like at this specific moment. Because we say right now, you know, right now, you know, you're like exactly. So that's the point here. Okay. So let me go to another break room in here, okay? Nice, thank, thank you. you. All right, surprise, surprise. Are you done practicing? Yeah, yeah. we are practicing. So, so I, did you finish already? Yeah, well, in this moment, uh, talking about the meaning of frequently and actually, why is the difference in yeah. the moment you use the actually or frequently? Yeah. Okay, but let me let me just uh, suggest something to you, Angel. All yeah. right, it's a, it's currently and actually. Okay, yeah, those are the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're mixing. Yes. You're, you're mixing Portuguese right now. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah be careful. Okay. So uh, let's let's use a trans a translation method. Okay, okay. a technique. So, uh, uh, actually means in Spanish? Actualmente. Actualmente en este momento. De, de, no, no, no. Actualmente is currently. Yes. Ah. Actu actually is realmente, de hecho. You got it. En you realidad. Exactly. Yeah. You use actually when you want to emphasize something. Okay? Yeah. Exactly. So, if I say this, uh, the coronavirus, it's a deadly uh disease you know or a sickness and yeah. actually it has yeah. killed thousands of people yeah okay to, yes. emphasize. to emphasize you know to add more yeah. meaning you know yeah. to say i really mean this so be careful <laughs> right yeah. exactly yeah. so and let me ask you jacqueline do you have a similar word just like uh, actually, in, in, like instead of saying actually, can you think of another word, you know, to say the same thing, you know, instead of saying actually? Um, a synonym? A synonym. Like a brother really? word, you know? Yes? Like really? No. No, not really. <laughs> no, not really. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, that, that, but that that's okay. I mean, my point is that you start to think, you know, you start to think in English and, and to see, uh, you know, how things are, you know. Uh, teacher, another word will be in fact. Yes, you got it. You got it. Yes. And you can also go, you know, go farther. You can say as a matter of, of fact, 
which is as the same. As a matter of fact. You can say actually, yeah. in fact, or as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yes. true, that's true. I know. Exactly. The three, the three words yeah. means the same. It's the same thing. What about, what about cur thing. currently? Another word similar to uh, currently? Um, now? Uh, yes, but I'm going to add something else to now. You will say nowadays. Nowadays, that's true. Nowadays. Yes. Now Perfect. is right now, what we're doing right now. But nowadays means in a temporary period of time. Okay. Yeah. Like you say, currently, I'm studying, you know, at eight o'clock English, you know, because that's true. And right now, we are practicing, you know, Jacqueline and Angel are practicing, you know, right okay. now. Yeah. It's, it, it may sound similar, you know, the same, but it's not the same. All right. So, let's, same. yes, let's go back to the main room. Okay. 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 Yes, just one second. All right, so how was the practice, uh, ladies? I can see that most of you are ladies over here. I just have a couple of gentlemen. Nice, so Angel is back in here. All right, so let me go ahead and share the screen with, with you, which is, that's the second step. And here we go. Um, Miss Carla, uh, what wrong? Uh, could you please unmute your microphone? Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, now we have, you know, the uh, the explanation over here. Could you help us read uh, the first two sentences and then we move on, please? Okay. Currently means now at the present moment, and actually means in reality and it is often used to make correction, corrections. All right, thank you. Let's see, um, let me choose Miguel, Mr. Franco, please help us on this one. So keep in mind that actually means in reality and currently means now, all right, but at the present moment, not right now, but you know, an action you know, that happens at a specific, I would say, temporary period of time, okay? So, Mr. Franco, help us, sir. Okay, um, I didn't hear what you say because I was uh, into... Okay, the... just uh, look at the screen, please. This is screen okay. I'm sharing with you. Just read uh, the first three uh, sentences in there, please. Okay. The, the one that says, actually, okay. in reality, and then it says equals, like the Spanish translation over there. Okay. Actually, in reality. Mm -hmm. Okay, the hecho in realidad, okay. All right. You like eggs, right? Te gustan los huevos? Yeah, that sounds, that sounds weird, right? So, yeah. all right. So, <laughs> okay. No, actually. No, actually, I'm allergic to them. Okay. Yeah. No, don't so you're right. Yeah. So right now we're not gonna read the Spanish translation. I just did it, you know, so it is a hundred percent clear for you. Okay. Okay. So let's continue, uh, Mr. Franco. Uh, next one. Currently. Uh, currently. Actualmente. E.g. Currently, I'm learning English. Actualmente, se aprende inglés. Yes. Mike's currently an employer. Mike is out actualmente. Yeah, he's an employee. He's out of, he, he doesn't have a job, you know, he's unemployed. All right? Employed. Yes. He was laid off work. That's that's another way to say this. Or he doesn't have a job. Or unemployed means you know disemployed, as you as you see even there. So now you see that the, the main difference over there. So please, from now on, so try to use currently for something that it that happens, you know, I would say in a temporary period of time. Like, like you are currently studying English, okay? And actually, you are learning English. Do you see the difference in there? Yeah. Yes. 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 That's the point here. 
Now I'm going to give you some synonyms, but I'm not gonna write them. Uh, I'm not gonna write them uh, over here. I'm just gonna just, you know, uh, tell you those two, two words. And what I need you to do is to uh, write them down in the chat. So the first one, the first one is nowadays. Could you please go to your cell phones, open the chat, and just try to write the spelling of nowadays. And we'll see, you know, all the different versions of that word, please. Go ahead. Nice, I'm impressed on this one that Jacqueline and also Eunice, you know, every, everybody's getting this right, okay? So let me give you the other one, okay? Second word, as a matter of fact. Second word, as a matter of fact, all right? So could you please uh, write that down? Send me a text message, please, over there. So as a matter of fact. Nice, nice. And I'm gonna give you another one, in fact, all right? In fact. Nice, all right, so I have now with this in fact in there. So now, ladies and gentlemen, so my friends, we know four words or five words. Okay, so we know currently. Okay, what's the other one? The first two that we study? As a matter of nowadays. nowadays. Actually, right? Children. Right? Yes. So a synonym for, for currently would be? A synonym would be? Nowadays. Nowadays, nowadays. right. All right, so a synonym for actually would be? In fact. As a matter fact. of fact. Or you can say as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact. But you know, that expression is usually uh, used only, you know, in writing. You know, as a matter of fact, you're going to see it only in writing. It, but if you want to say like as a matter of fact, you know, it's not very common. Okay. But in there, there is no problem. Okay. Let me stop sharing this screen with you and I'll, I'll move forward to the uh, platform. Okay, let me just one sec, come here. And there we go. All right, so I'm gonna ask you, Stephanie, uh, uh, are you able to see the screen and sharing right now with everyone? Uh, Mrs. Aparicio, let's see, let me unmute your microphone. All right, since it's not working. Mr. Ma uh, Herman Mangandi, sir, are you here? Yes. Yeah, thank you, sir. So uh, am I sharing the screen right with you, correctly? Yes. All right, nice, yes. thank you. Now, l let me ask you, uh, have you checked this platform already? Or would you like me to go over a specific topic in here so I can help you out? <laughs> Or should we go with the very first one and then move, you know, 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, and just like that? Okay. So, uh, Herman, sir. Well, it's okay. Any, any, any lesson is okay. Any lesson will be okay. All right. Yes. Okay. So, th thanks for that. Uh, so let me play this one. Go list some objective in here. We're gonna see our boss in here, okay? And uh, everybody, I think it's familiar with um, Jose Sainz. You know, I think he's he's the uh, one of the chief officers in in Inglés Corporativo. So we're gonna see right now uh, one video that he actually made explaining the simple pass and everything. So so try to pay yeah. attention to that, please. And then I'm going to split you in pairs or maybe in groups of three so you can practice a conversation. So that's what we're going to do first. Let's take a look at the grammar explanation. And then we're gonna go and practice in a conversation and, and share you know, the conversation with the whole class. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me ask just one volunteer in here. You know, a victim, a, let's see. Karen, Eunice, help us on this one. Could you please help us read the objective by the end of this class? Okay. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was 
where, oh, and right. various regular and irregular births. E.g., I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you will be able to uh, able ask and ask for questions in the past tense. The conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get to know people. Thank you so much. So uh, the whole idea of this lesson is that before nine o'clock, you're gonna have the opportunity to share with us your background, you know, where you grew up, where you were born, the school you study or you went to, your favorite subject in the school. If you like, you can also share a childhood memory, you know, something that you remember you used to you used to do back in the days, you know, like play trompo or play mica or something like that, right? <laughs> or, yes, this is the whole idea. So you're gonna share with the class your background. Okay, where'd you grow up? your brothers, your sister, the games you play. Mm -hmm. Or you can also share with us, you know, uh, a great memory that you have from your childhood. So this is the point here. Mm -hmm. So the past tense. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this. And uh, you tell me, you tell me if you're able to listen to the audio, you know, properly. Okay. Okay. So let me uh, go full screen, and here we go. So is it okay? Can you can can you listen? All right, on this one. No. No. Hold on. Let me just go to the beginning here. I didn't. Hold on. All right, so uh, was the, the audio, you know, being played correctly? No, 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 I can't no. hear it. No. I don't. I can hear you. So let me, let me play it again and see if, if it's uh, working now, okay? I, I think that, that you, teacher, have the auric auriculares. Okay, hold on. Use the auriculars. Let me share this again, all right? So hold on. <laughs> yes, it's better. <laughs> Uh, hold on, let me stop this. Yeah, share computer sound, optimize the screen sharing for video clip, and here we go. And uh, now? No. I don't hear nothing. <laughs> Excuse me? I don't hear nothing. So you're not hearing anything? No. 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 Me too. Maybe for the headphones. Okay. Mm -mm. Nothing. No. Nothing. No. 
Yeah. All right, so nothing yet. No. No. Nothing. No, nothing. Because I, I choose, I choose, uh, you know, to share also the computer audio, but, um, you know, for one reason, I'm not able to share it with you. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. So, um, let me just forward this then. Okay. Okay, um, so can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Let's, do, let's do something over here. I'm going to take a, a screenshot of this screen, okay? And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to change the end to the question and you're going to write your own responses. For example, you're going to write, where were you born? You can leave it just like that. You're going to say, I was born in San Salvador, I was born in uh, San Luis Talpa, etc., right? Or I was born in the United States, you know, it's up to you. <laughs> oh, you know, or I was born in Korea. So you never know, right? Also South. <laughs> you can also say, Angel, I was born in, in, in Brazil, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, but you're going to ask this, were you born in? And you just uh at a city were you born in mexicanos for example were you born in i don't know in the united states so change you know those words when did you move to like in my case listen to this i was born in usulután you know berlin usulután but i moved to san salvador 10 or 12 years ago all right okay. so in my case i'm gonna write when okay. did you move to san salvador Okay, and I can also, I, for the next question, so did you take English classes in high school? All right, or did you take English classes in the university? Okay. Okay. Yes, so let me send this uh, to you or you can get also a screenshot, okay? So, um, let me just one second here. Okay, um, and here we go. So le let me send this image to the chat right now. Okay. There you go. And very quickly, I'm gonna help you, you know, by writing the questions in the chat. You know, where, where were you born? I'm gonna add another one. Where were, uh, where did you grow up? So I want you to answer this, please, in a notebook right now, please. Where did you go to school? All right. And then I'm gonna ask you, were you born, let's say, in, uh, let's say, Puerto de la Libertad? Mm -hmm. For example, or just for you, Angel, uh, were you born, in Brazil. Brazil. You're born in Rio de Janeiro, you know, in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to also write here, were you a good student in a school? So right now, what I want you to do on a piece of paper, on your notebook, or, an, uh, or just a piece of paper, write the questions down, okay, and then your response, you know, your answer. All right. Okay. What was your favorite? What was your best, you know, friend like in high school? All right. What? Okay. Okay. All right. So, how many questions do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, right. seven, right? All right, so uh, write the questions down over, over there, okay? And I'm gonna write another one, okay, this one. 
What did you do during the COVID-19 pandemic? All right. All right, so how many questions do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight questions, right? Okay, so let me do something, uh, everyone. I'm going to uh, send you to, uh, to, to, you know, to work in Perch right now, since I have 18 participants. I'm gonna send you mm -hmm. one more time to a breakout room, all right? So you can practice with your classmate, you know, asking, answer the question, like, where were you born? Where did you grow up? Where did you go to school? Were you born in Puerto de la Libertad? Were you born somewhere else? Okay. 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 You send us in the, in, in the chat the, the questions. Yes, the questions okay. are over there already, yes. Okay. You can just copy and paste the questions or just practice the question over there. But I think, Angel and everybody else, that it's a good idea, you know, to write the questions down and also your answers. Okay. Okay. Yes, but but the most important thing, you know, most importantly, is to practice speaking, right? Okay, great. So I'm gonna go ahead right now to uh, send you to the break rooms. All right. Okay. Breaker, breaker rooms. Um, let's see. And here we go. All right, so just make sure to accept the invitation in there, please. Okay. All right, so here we go. All right, so Elio and um, Stephanie. Hello, hello, I'm here. Yeah, uh, so try to practice the questions over here. So first of all, write them down, okay, in your notebook, the questions and the answers over there very quickly. And then okay. once you, so once you're ready, Elio, and also Stephanie, so ask and answer, you know, the questions. For example, you go, where were you born? You ask Stephanie, and then she's gonna tell you, I was born in, all right? And then okay. where did you where, where did you grow up? She asks you, okay? So you, you will say, I grew up in, you say, the, you say the city, and you continue practicing, okay? Okay, got it, got it. But in this case, I'm gonna send you to another break room, break her room because she abandoned you, you know, she left you. <laughs> okay, no problem. You're gonna practice with Miguel, all right? Uh, she's back, I think. Yes. Uh, no, Stephanie. Hello. Are you ready to practice? I did grow up here in San Salvador too. All my my, my life, I was here. I was. Uh... Oh, you where where do you grow up well, one more time roberto can you say that again sir where did you grow up aha uh -huh. be careful on that one we, we don't say grew up we say where did you grow up grow up uh, grow up aha uh -huh. <laughs> so he's fast exactly beautiful auxiliary in questions, all right, so remember, in questions, we don't change the verb. The verb is the same, all right? Okay. But, but when you say, like, in, in just a simple statement, you know, just a sentence, you say, I went to the doctor, I did my homework, you know, I grew up. But when you ask, what did you do yesterday, for example? So, where did you go to school? What did you eat for lunch today? So, you see the verb? Does, mm -hmm. does not have any change. Okay. Okay. But it's actually in past. Yes. 
No. Correct. I I was born in Santana. All right, so uh, Roberto, ask another question. Just go, one question, one answer. Another question, an answer, you know, just like that. Like if you're playing like tennis, you know. Question number one, Roberto. Okay. Question number two, Hilda. Question number three, Roberto. Number four, Hilda, and so on, okay? Okay. Where did, where did you go to school? Sorry, repeat. Where did you go to school? Mm -hmm. You, ah, uh, uh, I was in, in, in the school, the name. Yes. Uh, I was in the school, uh, Karima is the name. Okay. Let, me, let me just interrupt you, everyone, I hear. All right, so li listen to the question carefully. So she's asking you, Roberto, where did you go, you know? And in Spanish, that would be, donde estudió? Aunque no diga el verbo estudiar, pero eso significa estudiar. Where did you go? A donde atendió la escuela? Okay. And you have to say, I went to. I went. I went to Keridma. Or you can also say, I study at Keridma. No. It doesn't matter that she doesn't say, where did you study? But you can say, I study, or I went to, or I attended. Or you can say, I visited. Algunos pasamos de noche. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, goodbye. En lo oscuro, en lo oscurana. <laughs> All right, so I need to go to okay. some, some other people. All right. Okay. What was your friend's uh, name in the in the school? I bring you more answers. Okay, ask me, and I'm going to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Okay. Where did you grow up? I grew up in San Juan Pico. Oh, okay. Where did you go to school? I did go to school. I did go to Mass Ferreira School. Oh, really? It's Santa Fe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Santa Fe. Yeah. Where you born? Puerto Puerto Libertad. Were you born in Puerto de Libertad? No, I wasn't. I was born in San Juan Pico. Okay. Were you born in Brazil? <laughs> no, I wasn't too. I was born in El Salvador. <laughs> I will like it. Yeah, you wish, Were right? Were you still in school? I'm... Yes, I was a good student okay, in school. Great. Mm -hmm. What was what was your best friend like in high school? My best friend, I didn't have best friend because it's it's kind of I don't know. I have problems with people because I I I try to to be like a good friend, but I choose bad friend. But my my best friend, it was a girl. She was oh really good with me. Yeah, it was. Difficult, but someone friends that study in in that institute. Yes, it's really good. Yes, yes. Yes, it's really good. Uh, where were you born in Puerto de la Libertad? No, I wasn't. <laughs> were you born in Brazil? No, <laughs> no, I wasn't. Were you a good student in school? Of course. <laughs> I, I was the, I was the number one of every <laughs> all the students. <laughs> Lee. Yes. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> what was your best friend in, like in high school? Well, my best friend um, was um, a woman like 
called Patty, and she was very friendly with me. She helped helped me in every homework that we have together, and I always remember her because she oh, was a very very uh, good friend for me. Seriously. Yes. It's very interesting. What did you do during the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, I was in my house all the pandemic because I have one girl of two years old. And, um, and then I moved, moved to my mom's uh, house and we, we, I don't know how to explain, but we did get a, a new business here in the house. Oh, yes. oh okay. Yeah. And, and the last one. Yeah. Yes. When did, when did you grow up in Los Angeles? Yes. No. <laughs> no. No, I wasn't. I Do you do anything special in your last period of time? Okay. What do you do? Um, I did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was in quarantine. <laughs> Just asleep. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. Yeah, so Sadra, I want to cry Hello. now with you. I want to cry with you. Yeah. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't celebrate. I'm crying right now. Yeah, sad face. I did you know. nothing. <laughs> so, so you stay home, just I don't know, watching TV or working. Uh, no, nah, I was, I was <laughs> bored. They were pointing. You were depressed, you know, well, crying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And growing, gardening. Okay. Cooking. Cooking mostly, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to come back to the main room right now, all right? All right, so is everybody back in here? Yes, no? Yes. Okay, let's do a second follow-up uh, practice on this, okay? So mm -hmm. I, share, I share with you 10 questions in total. That first one was, where were you born? Okay, let, let's try to repeat this, you know, let's try to uh, repeat it after me, please, okay? Okay. All right. all right, so all right, so the first one is where were you born? Where, where, you, where, born? where were you born? born? Where did you grow up? Where, where did you grow up? Wow. Okay, where, where did you go to school? Where, where did, did you, you go to school? school? All right, the next one is where you born in Puerto de la Libertad? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, uh, let me stop in here. Um, let me share the first one with you. 
very quickly. Okay. I'm gonna share the screen with you. L let's do something, please. Uh, let me ask, so Roberto, did you write the questions down in your notebooks or something or, or just in WhatsApp? Do you have them only on your chat or in your notebook? Nice. Now let's do something here and everyone, let's try to do this, please. Try to organize the sentence between the ones that had did and the ones that had were or was. So let's let's try uh, let's try to make you know two uh, categories, right? One with mm -hmm. did and the other one with uh, where. For example, where were you born? Were you born in Puerto de la Libertad? Were you born in Brazil? Etc. Etc. Should be together, and the other ones should be in a different group. Okay. Okay. Nice and. What you're going to do, maybe not for tomorrow, for, let's say, but for next Monday, I'm going to, you know, uh, send the instructions tomorrow or maybe tonight, later on. Okay. You're going to, you're going to okay. write, you're going to write a paragraph, but you have to organize these questions in a logical way. For example, you can start with this. I was born in Berlin, Usulután, and I grew up with my brothers and sisters, all right? I went to school to a uh, colegio Espiritu Santo, for example. You know, I was not born in Puerto de la Libertad. I was not born in Brazil either. And I was a good student. I was the best student in my class, you know, in high school. Okay. And you can also say I didn't have a best friend because I, I was shy or, I, you know, I didn't trust people, etc. Or you can say I had, I had a, a, a very good friend in high school. His name was? or her name was, okay? This year, because of COVID-19, okay, I didn't do anything special. I stay home, or I just have to work in front of the computer, or I took care of my children. You can also say the next one, you know, like what was your favorite teacher? Uh, you may say my favorite teacher fue, you, 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 my favorite teacher was, you know, Mr. Ca Mr. Carlos, for example. He was a science teacher and he was very fun, you know, a great teacher, he helped me a lot, etc. And the last one, for my last birthday, you can say, I didn't do anything special because, you know, all the stores were closed. Met, you know, Metro Center was closed, for example, cool. right? <laughs> yeah. So, all these uh, stores were closed, okay? But did you get my idea in here? Here we yes, go. Yeah. Yes. Here so, we got it. Exactly, so you write a paragraph, you take a screenshot. This is gonna be for next Monday, okay? For next Monday, okay. all right? So okay. first of all, you write your paragraph. You know, like, I don't know, like five, 10 sentences in there. Add details, okay? And then do the recording, you know, the voice note and send it to me. Okay? Right. Okay. 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 Yes. And, and the, third, the third thing by next Monday, please be ready you know, to, to give a short presentation to your classmate. O sea, lo voy a poner en, 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 los, en los cuartitos chiquitos. And over there, you're going to present this information like a paragraph, okay, like this. Hello, my name is Jose Alfaro. I was born in Berlin, Usulután. You know, I grew up in there. I never moved to the city, etc., etc. In there, I study in a Catholic school, you know, or I went to a public school, etc. Okay? Okay. So you're not going to present in front of everyone, but you're going to present in groups for next next Monday. Okay. Okay. So we're done with today's class. I need to go to another class. <laughs> all, right. all right. So I, ho I hope I hope you enjoyed okay. this this class Thank today. You you're welcome. This was good. Okay. And let's yeah, see you tomorrow. Day. A good night. <laughs> Thank you. See you. Yeah. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.